This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1322. Break Unhealthy Habits to Lead a Better Life by Guy and Elon Ferdman of mindbender.co. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Welcome back to another edition of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs on the web, kind of like an ongoing audiobook. And I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short, so let's get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Break Unhealthy Habits to Lead a Better Life by Guy and Elon Ferdman of mindbender.co. Do you ever wonder why you keep doing the same things over and over again? Why do you keep falling into the same business situations, same types of relationships, same eating habits? Perhaps these have formed into addictions and it might be time to break unhealthy habits. Like being addicted to substances, being addicted to your habits can hinder you from leading a successful and fulfilling life due to the actual physical high you receive when you keep repeating the same habits over and over again. In this article, we're going to discuss the reason you continue to repeat the same bad habits over and over again, the effect these habits can have on your life, and how to break free of them once and for all. The science behind the habits. The reason you tend to keep doing the same things over and over again even though you know they're not good for you, could be because you've trained your brain and body to be fixated on certain things that cause a chemical reaction in your brain. This rush that you experience is the result of your brain releasing chemicals such as dopamine or serotonin, which communicate to your entire system that it likes what you're doing. Think about this like giving a dog a treat. Every time you experience this feeling, this treat, you are training yourself to do it more. In other words, your body is addicted to this chemical release, which happens when you perform your habit. So, how do you break unhealthy habits? Keep listening. The negativity of a habit. Let's talk about those that may struggle with eating not-so-nutritious foods, which is probably most of us. Every time we eat something that tastes good, which usually contains sugar or fat, our brains release chemicals that make us feel good. The problem is that this good feeling eventually dissipates and may leave us longing for the feeling to return. This could lead us to eat more to satisfy these cravings. The same also applies when it comes to relationships. As an example, if you constantly find that your relationships end in huge dramatic fights, you may want to consider whether you, on some level, crave the feelings you get when you fight. You probably don't enjoy the feeling of being angry or ending yet another relationship but your body may be experiencing a chemical release every time you get into a fight. Because your body craves this feeling, you may subconsciously attract people who can give you that rush. This same cycle can be applied to any area of your life, whether in business, your health, or even your finances. Start evaluating and be responsible about it. To break unhealthy habits and be free from these less than ideal behavioral patterns, you must begin evaluating your behaviors. What is something that you keep repeating in your life that doesn't bring you positive outcomes? These habits don't have to be daily habits. Perhaps you eat more at a certain time of the month, or maybe you wake up feeling sad every few weeks. Whatever loop you find yourself in again and again is because of the emotional charge that you get from it. You receive some sort of payoff when you repeat the pattern of behavior, even if you don't like what you are doing. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it. Again, it's important to remember that there is a physiological chemical reaction that happens in your brain every time you repeat your habit. Once triggered, these chemicals can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours to flush out of your system. Once you have evaluated your habits, the next step is to take responsibility for it. So often, we blame our circumstances or other people. This time, you get to be responsible for your actions. If you know what you are doing and you choose to hold yourself accountable for it, then the issue may dissipate simply because you are looking for a solution to the situation. The domain of thinking and phenomena of communication. Thinking is a recall action, meaning that thoughts live in the past and you recall memories or information that you retained. To have a breakthrough or to finally put an end to the habits you want to eliminate, communication is key. Communicating can help you resolve issues or conflicts that can help you move on and get to work on creating a happier, more successful life. 
it gives you access to a better future. It's like taking out the trash instead of letting it pile up. In other words, every time a conflict arises, it's better to talk it out instead of letting it disappear all by itself. This way, you won't continue to repeat the same issue. Taking it back. The root causes of some of the experiences or habits you learned may have begun way back in your past when you were between two and seven years of age. Knowing the root cause of your habits can give you access to solutions so you can take action and finally discontinue the habits that may be causing you ultimate distress. Bottom line, if you want the results that you currently have in your life, then keep on doing what you're doing. But if you want a different outcome, then begin identifying and evaluating habits that are leading you to feel frustration or anger and then respond appropriately. You just listened to the post titled Break Unhealthy Habits to Lead a Better Life by Guy and Elon Ferdman of mindbender.co. And thank you to Cozy Earth for their support. Cozy Earth makes a variety of bamboo products including sheets, duvet covers, comforters, pillowcases, loungewear, and more. Their quality will get you talking to your friends about it. Cozy Earth's bedding and loungewear sleeps 50% less human than cotton. They're certified free of harmful chemicals and comes from an ethical supply chain. And they have a 10-year warranty on all bedding. You don't have to worry about pilling and washing and drying is easy. It's safe in machines. I got their sheets and they're the softest I've ever had. I don't think I can ever go back to cotton after using Cozy Earth. I actually look forward to getting into bed just for the feeling. You'll see what I mean when you try it for yourself. Go to Cozy Earth dot com to check out the great selection of bamboo bedding and loungewear. Optimal Health Daily listeners will receive an incredible discount of 40% off site-wide when you use promo code OHD podcast. That's CozyEarth.com and use promo code OHD podcast at checkout. That's the best deal they have offered right now, so thank you to Cozy Earth for that. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Tell me if you've heard this one before. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Well, that's a myth. That is not the definition of insanity. It's just a cool phrase. To me, it always sounded like a phrase that a supervillain like Lex Luthor would say. Oh, and if you don't believe me about the actual definition of insanity, go ahead and look it up. I'll wait. Actually, no, if you're looking up the definition of insanity, just hit pause because I'm gonna move on. Instead of using that cool-sounding Lex Luthor-ish phrase, I prefer this one. If you want something you have never had, you must be willing to do something you have never done. Remember when it comes to changing habits, it's not about removing things from your life. It's about finding substitutions. If we start taking things away in our lives, especially things we really enjoy, we are setting ourselves up for failure. So even though you may enjoy cookies and eating them makes you want to eat more of them, it doesn't mean you can never have another cookie so long as you and the cookie both shall live. Instead, it may mean finding something else to replace that cookie that brings you just as much, if not more, satisfaction. No, I'm not talking about replacing the cookie with a donut. Instead, I would recommend something not food-related at all but something else that will bring you joy. Maybe it's listening to your favorite song, calling up a friend or family member, playing a game on your phone, whatever. You just want to make sure you're not feeling like you're depriving yourself of things that you like. Instead, you're just finding another way to make yourself happy. All right, that'll do it for the Thursday episode. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll be back here tomorrow for the Friday Q&A and where your optimal life awaits.